Hey there, uh, we are going to use this tutorial. It's going to be short and sweet and we're going to learn how to calculate yield to call on a bond. So here we've got a bond, um, PepsiCo's callable bond, and to call a bond just means that the firm um, on specific dates can decide that they're going to pay it back early. And not all companies, not all bonds allow a firm to do that. They've got to wait until it matures to pay it back. But if it's callable, they can pay it back on a specific date if they feel like it. It gives them a chance essentially to refinance. So in this example, um, we calculated yield to maturity and we know that our settlement date is the date we buy the bond and that's going to be usually today's date. Um, in this case we're going to look at January 21st, 14. And then we know that our date of first call, 7-7-15, so July 7th, 2015, Pepsi can pay this bond back if they want to. And they'll do that if the interest rates change, just like you would want to refinance a house if interest rates got better. So we know that we're going to receive, we're going to pay for the bond today, we're going to receive interest payments on January 7th and July 7th until we reach the first call date, because that's when they might pay it back. So if we buy it on the 21st of January, the first payment that we'll get will be the July 7th, 2014 payment. Then we would get the January 7th, 2015 payment, and then on July 7th, 2015, Pepsi may call the bond if they want to. And we want to know if they decided to call the bond on July 7th, 2015, what would our yield be? Because we know, I'm going to scroll down for a second, we know that the yield to maturity, if we held it to maturity, it would have a yield of 1.95%. But what if PepsiCo called it early? What would that do for our yield? So if you're an investor buying a bond, both of these things are important to you because you're going to want to know how much money you're going to make or what your yield would be in either of those two situations because you don't know what actually is going to happen. So calculating yield to call is the same thing as calculating yield to maturity. You have your cash flow today's date. It's going to be negative because you're spending money and it's going to be the bond price plus the accrued interest because you're going to have to pay both of those things. So it's the same amount you'll spend in either case. Then you're going to have the same interest payments, 11.25. You're going to have one on July 7th, 14. You're going to have one on January 7th, 15. And then on July 7th, 15, they are going to pay you back the face value, par, plus that last interest payment. So just like we did with yield to call, I mean yield to maturity, we use the XIRR function. We're going to do the same thing here. Values first, dates second. So that would be a 1.26% yield to maturity. Uh-oh, not yield to maturity, yield to call. So there you go. Yield to call, 1.26%. It uses the XIRR function to figure out what we would earn on this investment if we bought it on the 21st of January 2014 and the company decided to call it early. Happy calculating. Let me know if you have any questions.